Twitter warns global users their tweets violate Pakistani law. <laughs> Anthony Fure, a Toronto Sun op-ed editor, received an email said to be from Twitter's legal team telling him he may have broken Pakistani laws. He was startled to learn he stood accused of insulting the Prophet Muhammad, a crime punishable by death in the Islamic Republic. Twitter confirmed the correspondence was true. Fuhrer's offense was to post cartoons of the Prophet several years ago. Other two prominent users, Saudi-Canadian activists Insaf Haidar and Imam Mohammed Tawidi, a progressive Muslim scholar from Australia who was born in Iran, publicly complained about receiving a message linked to Pakistan. Pakistan had previously threatened to block Twitter if the company did not remove content its government found offensive. Okay. Um, uh, so, devil's advocate, what's the problem with this? They're just sending you a notification that it breaks the Pakistani laws. It's not. They're not removing it, are they? No, no, no. They're they're not removing it, but they are. Uh, these ones that are getting reported are not being shown in uh, in in Pakistan. They're being taken down. Um, okay. So devil. So the the. This, the reason why this pisses people off is because uh, a U.S. company is now enforcing blasphemy law, right? Um, yeah. And so, but the devil's advocate to that is like, what do you expect? Do you want do you want Twitter to go to into a country and and by not following their laws, it's going to completely get kicked out of Pakistan? And wouldn't it be better for people there to have some? outlet to say something rather than nothing because if twitter goes into pakistan and breaks their laws um then they're the pakistan is going to kick twitter out of pakistan no but but the thing is is that is that it, it's not it's not twitter's fault twitter is an open platform twitter has their own terms of service that uh that that not only adhere to uh, United States penal codes, but most international penal codes. Now there are more strict countries like like Pakistan, but I mean, we, uh, what 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 should happen is is if uh, if they're wanting to enforce these laws, which are shitty laws and shouldn't be in place in the in, in the first place, uh, they should be focused on IP addresses or posts that are coming from IP addresses from within that country, from within that jurisdiction. And if these posts are coming from people outside of the jurisdiction, in Pakistan, they have no business sending them a, a letter, um, a, a legal letter, um, informing them that they've violated some some law of which they have not violated because they are not in that country. Or, um, I mean, I don't. I, I would love to get letters from Pakistan telling me that I that I broke their laws. I will print that shit. Oh, and, sure, yeah. And I, frame I would, it. I, I, I would frame it. I, I would put it myself. <laughs> right. No, I mean, uh, I mean, thank you, Pakistan, for telling us that you we broke your stupid fucking laws so that we could know which to do it again more because it seems they're very sensitive about it. So please let us know what your stupid fucking Sharia laws are so we could keep doing it more often. Like, yes, yeah, so tell me. Tell me what you're most sensitive about so I do that more, more often. Um... I mean, fuck you, Pakistan. I really don't blame Twitter on this one. Um, I mean, the, I really think the blame goes to Pakistan and Pakistan alone, unless somebody wants to disagree with me yeah. and tell me why I'm wrong. I think, I think, like, hey, you know, I, I hope, that, I wish there was a, like, a, if they're sending me an official letter for outside of Pakistan, uh, telling me that they broke the law. I wish there was like an official reply button that I could officially send a legal <laughs> letter telling them to go fuck themselves. Um, right, it goes, it should... goes like straight to like their their, their head person. <laughs> no, like here is an official uh, legal uh, formal letter from my lawyer here. I just in response to right. your inquiries, I wanted to just to let you know that to go fuck yourself, Pakistan. I'm gonna keep breaking your shit a lot. <laughs> no, I did, did, they just oh. should have an official reply button somewhere there. But You're in violation of being a total fuckhead. <laughs> yeah, but, but whoever is getting these letters, please share it so that we know which laws to go keep on breaking. And, you know, Pakistan, you know, what are you going to do about it? We're not in your fu fucking stupid country and we, we're going to... What are you going to do about it? Huh? We're going to break your laws all the time. Um... Yeah, we, in fact, make it a hobby. Break. We'll, we could even have it day. Break a Pakistani law day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and to, you know they need to be. Ready. I mean, they're so sensitive. They need to be. They need needs to backfire, right? So, 
the the beautiful thing about the internet is that whenever people find out that you're sensitive about something, they make sure that it backfires on you so that you don't think that you can control people's uh, people's you know speech and and the expression of their thoughts. And and you know what what we need to do, given that we can get away with these saying these things. I mean, I can say like fuck your Muhammad, fuck your Prophet Muhammad, and fuck your God and fuck your Quran. Um, I can get away with saying these things. But it's sad that our fellow atheists in Pakistan wouldn't be able to say something even much milder than any of this stuff. And right. what, what, I, what we need to do, given that we, when we get these letters, the reaction should be that we need to uh, provide more tools for activists in Pakistan to be able to use a VPN or, you know, or find ways to send their message out without getting detected and i'm and not that i mean a lot of atheists in pakistan or have already figured all this stuff out the good thing here's a good thing about uh these sensitive uh, people about when they want to control people's behavior they they also ban porn and the great thing about banning porn is that you really no government and no army can stand between teenagers and their porn okay so when you try right, to they're, ban, they're going to find it. They're going to figure it out, right? So, banning porn will always work against you because basically you start you you'll make uh, teenagers start training themselves on how to get around your uh, your firewalls or whatever you install. Yeah. And so, oh. in the, when when they come out of their teenage years and go from their porn discovery phase to their activism phase now they have all the tools and the equipment to uh, that they learn from searching for porn to be able to now uh, do activism but go on jim you want to say something no i was just going to say that i i was i was a teenager before the internet i i grew up before the internet my hormones kicked in before the internet and I found porn. Like I mean, I, yeah, you're 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 not going to 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 hide yeah. anything from somebody. You're not you're not going to hide knowledge. Period. Not just porn. You're not going to hide knowledge from somebody seeking knowledge of something. They they are going to find it. Uh, okay, the top comment is from Scott. Uh, he's saying if my t if my tweets didn't violate Pakistani uh, law. I know I was doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. Agata is saying, I think I'm going to use Twitter for the first time in forever just to violate some Pakistani law. <laughs> Any tips? <laughs> That's good. Uh, Dave is saying, religion holding back progress for centuries. Uh, Tony is saying, Pakistan violates my laws. So, <laughs> uh, good, good comments. I'm going to read some more. Malik is saying, who gives a fuck about their laws? Uh, Adam is saying thoughts and prayers for the Pakistani government in this time of unimaginable trauma. <laughs> uh, Marga is saying uh, only uh, only weak gods, prophets, and religions free criticism. So basically all gods, uh, prophets, and religions. Uh, George is saying their god is so powerful that it is offended by a tweet. What the fuck? Uh, barbarian bullshit. None cares about Pakistani law. I mean, I do care about Pakistani law because I want to go actively break Pakistani laws. Atheists around the world are choosing to give voice to their opinions and no longer hide their lack of religious beliefs. In some cases, this public declaration of atheism can lead to backlash from friends and family. In other areas, it can even be physically dangerous to admit to atheism. Atheist Republic wants to give atheists a louder voice. Let's show them that we're listening, no matter which language they speak. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Spanish, Persian, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. Help us get there at patreon.com forward slash atheist republic.